So how do we do this process? So the first thing is we need to tick off or highlight the items that are in both the cash book and on the bank statement. Now I personally highlight because you can highlight in the exam on that little arrow at the side and it just makes it really visible. However, whichever way you choose is absolutely up to you. P.S. That is my dog. You can hear snoring in the background. I do apologise. Then we're going to take the items that are not ticked or are not highlighted on the bank statement and we're going to put them into the cash book. And obviously we need to make sure we put them on the correct side of the cash book. So debit side of the cash book if it's money coming in, credit side of the cash book if it's money going out. Then we're going to balance our cash book, the bank columns, so we can decide what the bank balance is according to our cash book, which is what we did um, in our cash book unit in our last topic. And then we are going to perform the bank reconciliation statement, which is where we are going to make the cash book balance and the bank balance marry up because we are going to find the differences. And that will look something like this. So as you can see, we're going to start with the balance on the bank statement. We're going to add any outstanding lodgement. So another way of putting that would be add any money that hasn't come in yet, but you think is going to come in. That's why it's from the debit side. So details of what they are and the amounts and the total to add. Then we're going to take off any unpresented checks and these will be from the credit side because these are things that we're paying out but they haven't um, taken it out of our bank yet that's going to give us our total to subtract and then that is going to give us the balance as per the correct adjusted cash book and this balance here should match our cash book balance because We've taken our bank balance from the statement, added on what we think is yet to come in, took off what we think is yet to go out, which should agree to our cash book. So now on the next video, I am going to do a worked example to show you how this works.